few weeks ago I posted a question on my Facebook asking you all what you'd do if one of your friends sat you down and told you that they were asexual. Some of you said, huh? Others asked questions? I heard about this in biology. Isn't that where you have both a penis and a vagina? So you can get yourself pregnant meaning you need some sort of super birth control every time you masturbate? And others of you took to Google like the trusty investigators you are and found that, wait, there are people that don't want sex? No way. All I gotta say is, way. That was a weird voice. For those of us who like to f like rabbits, it can be hard to understand what asexuality is all about. To help us understand, I visited David J, asexuality activist and founder of asexuality.org. Let's go ahead and start at the very beginning. Okay. What is asexuality by definition? So an asexual person is someone who doesn't experience sexual attraction. Okay. Um, I don't feel an intrinsic desire to make sex a part of my relationship with other people. It's different than celibacy. Celibacy is a choice. Celibate right. people choose not to have sex. Asexual people aren't intrinsically drawn to it, toward sex, but may or may not choose to have it. Right. And you said it's a sexual orientation as opposed to a romantic, romantic orientation. orientation. Yeah. So um, I, like many asexual people, I still have a romantic orientation. Um, asexual people can still want to form romantic relationships with um, men, with women, with men and women, with a whole wide range of genders. So those are people asexual and gay, asexual and bi, asexual and straight. Right. So being asexual doesn't mean that you're completely orientationless, mm -hmm. right? Or relationshipless, for that exactly. matter. Exactly. It's talking about different ways to connect with people that goes outside of the scope of sex. When I was young, I used to be really intimidated by the fact that sex was everywhere because it was like being in an alien world. Like it's a language I don't speak. It's something I can't relate to. Right. Um, and uh, what I realized as I grew up and got more comfortable with my sexual identity is that it's great if everyone talks about sex. It's an experience everyone's having. We should be talking about it openly and honestly. And part of that means talking about the fact that it's not always fun. Not, not so just for asexual people. Asexual <laughs> yeah, out, right? Yeah, exactly. There. Part of what we've done as the asexual community is figure out how to emotionally do everything that people do with sex without sex. It seems to me that with this question of how to build relationships, David and the asexual community are hitting something that affects all human beings. I hypothesize that the difference is, for sexual people, we aren't required to confront that reality as head-on as asexuals are. Possibly because we have all these sexual engagements, which are acting as both a buffer and a preoccupation from addressing that question. So what is a gray A? I've seen this term on asexuality.org, uh -huh. and it's a little confusing. What does it mean? So, like... Um, anything else with sexuality. Asexuality is a spectrum. Right. There's some people who are really, really, really sexual. There's some people who, like me, are pretty much not sexual at all. And there are people who are in the middle. Gray A's are people that experience, experience some sexual attraction, but it's low enough that they still identify with the asexual community. Now this spectrum that David's introduced will answer a lot of the questions you might have about asexuality. For example, something that I'm asked a lot is, do asexuals masturbate? Well, sure, some masturbate, but others don't. Some experience sexual arousal, some don't, and it comes in varying degrees. The difference is that that sexual arousal is not attached to the desire to have sex with someone. Now, wouldn't you know, this is actually Asexuality Awareness Week. So if you'd like to educate some people, make asexuals more visible, and bring their problems to the front for the good of us all, please share this video or share some information with your friends about asexuality. Thanks for watching, everyone. I love you all, and I will see you next week. Mwah! Except your mom, oh. What?